Hi guys, it's Ale here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I had this cool moment and I wanted to create this cool tone spotlight makeup tutorial with a bunch of different products. So if you want to know how I did that, then keep on watching. Hi guys, so for today's video, as usual, we will start with our eye already prime and set. And I've also applied my NYX, this is everything lip oil, as I always do. And then we are going to start immediately with our Nabla Dreamy palette. I'm going to take this transition shade right here, this is called Illusion, this is a pretty neutral transition shade and we're going to start to apply it into the crease and outer corner. I'm also starting to concentrate the color in the outer and inner corner as we are doing a spotlight um, makeup look for today. So, as usual, I have a clean blending brush so I can help to, you know, help the blend the edges better. And we don't have harsh lines. Once the transition has been laid down, we can go on and start to um, put this color right here that is Dogma. And we're going to first put it in the outer part of our eye and then blend it. And then we're going to put it in the inner part of our eye and then blend it. We want the majority of the product to be in the, where is that? In the inner and outer corner and then we can start diffusing it actually for the inner corner this is too big i'm going to take this one right here that is kind of a flat but fluffy brush and i'm gonna put that in the inner part of my eye and then in the outer part and then we can start to blend everything with the um, blending brush and whatever is left on my brush I'm going to swipe it also a little bit over here just to you know um, put a little bit of this dark color also in the crease but really really slightly so once again we put a product in the outer and inner corner to have the majority of the color there and then we um, blend everything with a fluffy brush. As you can see we are leaving a gap right here in the middle and we are going to put a really cool color in there so usual if you think you need a help with the blending you can go back with the other fluffy brush the one um, with the transition shade and you can blend the edges and we also have our clean blending brush just to um, blend even more. So once that also our darkest color has been laid down, we can go ahead with our flat brush and our concealer and put a little bit in the middle of the lid right here because we have to put the lightest color in order to create the um, spotlight effect. As usual, as I have ooded eye, I kind of do put a little bit of concealer and then I look up so I know where I have to, you know, put the um, the concealer. And of course, as you can see, is above my natural crease. So I go ahead and do that. Now we're going to take a little bit of the dark brown and start to 
and then one of the edges will be concealer like so the first color that we're going to lay down is this one right here inception and i show you it's a beautiful kind of purple purple brown duochrome color and we're gonna take it with our finger and put it in the middle right here just to have the maximum payoff and this color even without um fix fix blast or fixing something is full pigment and it's beautiful so i'm gonna first lay down with my finger and then i'm gonna continue with a more precise brush over top of this um, purple shadow we're gonna take another shadow this one is from nyx and it's one of my favorite and it's called whimsical where is that i have this swatch right here as you can see is fabulous it's kind of this unicorn lilac color that i love so much to top everything we're going to take nyx duochromatic highlighter this is in the color twilight tint that is this color beautiful color here and we're gonna take it just in the um, middle right here just to finish off this duochromatic effect so i've quickly finished my concealer off camera and i did a little bit of contour and bronzing and now i can finish the lower lash line we're gonna take illusion that was our transition shade and we're going to place it in the outer and inner corner of our lower lash line because of course we're going to mimic the upper part so we have to create the gap right here so we start putting the transition and then we go on with the dark color as I said after illusion we're gonna take dogma and we're gonna place it in the outer and inner corner as well apply a little bit of concealer in the middle right here just to make our eyeshadow pop when we apply it We're gonna take Whimsical again from NYX and we're gonna place it right here in the middle to create the um, same spotlight effect. Easy peasy. I did a mascara off camera, now we're going to do highlighter together. I'm gonna first spray my entire face with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So, I'm going to take our NYX Duochromatic Highlighter in the color Twilight Tint, yeah. And we're gonna start to apply it on our cheeks. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of whimsical in next to yeah. Ooh. I'm going to add a little bit of whimsical over the twilight tint just because I have my duochrome moment so I need to be extra with this duochrome highlight a little bit of this too for my blush while i'm waiting for my lashes to be tacky i did apply my favorite cool tone liquid lipstick of all time and this is sagittarius by jeffree star because when i have my 
cool tone moment, this is what I usually grab because it's my fave. It's amazing. I love it. Once it is dry down, we are going to take our whimsical um, shadow again and we're going to tap it over the uh, lipstick, but just in the center of our lips. Because why not? I mean, this eyeshadow is gorgeous. I like this kind of metallic effect that is given to this lipstick. Once the lashes are on, the look is complete. I hope you like this cool moment and this tutorial. If so, please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and see you in my next one. Bye!